It's Italy's parlous financial situation that finally put Berlusconi on the ropes as he skated on increasingly thin political ice and failed to impress the markets with economic reform packages. Interest rates on Italy's debt soared. They've now reached levels that are causing deep concern about the survival of the Eurozone, with the currency bloc's third largest economy getting perilously close to being unable to pay its debts. Italy owes 1.9 trillion euros. Yields on its bonds that have to be paid back in 10 years hit almost 6 and 3 quarter percent at one stage on Tuesday, and next year it'll have to borrow 300 billion euros. A Rome-based politics professor explained... Italy's private debt is not bad, its public debt is desperate. And if they can't pay for the public debt, then there will be higher taxes and the possibility of, uh, a real possibility of default unless measures can be put through to show that the Italians are facing it. The European Central Bank's been buying Italian government bonds by the billions to try and keep a lid on Rome's borrowing costs, obviously without success. And analysts say if its interest rates don't come down soon, that high cost of borrowing will cancel out the budget savings from Italy's painful austerity programme. When world leaders from the G20 last met, Greece was the main problem, but now Italy has moved to the top of the agenda.